an economic crisis worsening by the day. Argentina becoming unaffordable for essentially its whole population, suffering 104% annual inflation, according to its official statistics agency. Yo veo mucha gente necesitada, gente... A lot of people in need, people in the streets, and a need for more jobs, said this man, as his country holds the unsettling place of second-worst inflation in Latin America, only behind Venezuela. The economic crisis leading to a political upheaval. On Friday, President Alberto Fernandez sharing this video, informing the country he will not run for re-election, admitting Argentina is facing tough times. My administration took over a country in debt, in recession, in default, with high levels of poverty and inflation, said Fernandez, also blaming the COVID pandemic for some of the economic shortcomings. Como lo hicimos durante la pandemia. But the move opening up a political vacuum of sorts. His vice president, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, found guilty of corruption, which she denies, also says she's not running. Neither is center-right opposition party leader and former president Mauricio Macri. As the country's leaders step back, in the streets, people urging the government for help. In my case, for example, zero capacity of ahorro. I have zero capacity to save. Compared to last year, what I could have saved dropped by 60 or 70 percent, said this woman, adding the inflation in Argentina feels like never before. But currency instability is a long-standing stain on the country. The last time Argentina saw inflation over 100 percent, back in 1991, when restaurants lined their walls with worthless bills and shop owners closed in protest. Now, workers taking to the streets again. Demonstrating against poor living conditions and the country borrowing 44 billion last year from the International Monetary Fund. In the case of the comedores, for example, the ollas vacías are están eh, vacías por la inflación y por la decisión política de este gobierno de no entregar la comida como parte de la reducción del gasto social para pagarle al Fondo Monetario Internacional. Economic experts say if the government is spending more than it collects in taxes, there are only two solutions. Either they print money that creates inflation on, or they collect, they issue new debt. This government totally destroyed the possibility of, of issuing new debt, so they have to finance primarily by printing money. Worsening the crisis, a drought making soy, corn and grain scarce. Cuando las cosas semanalmente. The country preparing for a presidential election this fall in hopes that someone can save Argentina from its own economy. And with that, Guad Venegas joins us tonight from Miami. So, Guad, across Latin America, voters are turning left in major elections, right? We've seen it in Colombia, in Brazil. What's expected to happen in Argentina with that election coming up? Well, well, Tom, in Argentina, we have three main political parties, right? We have the left-wing union, which is the one the president belongs to. Then we also have the center-right party and the far right. Now, so far, the polls have seen a dramatic increase in support for the right-wing party this year, while the center-right party and the left have both lost ground. So the race appears to be tighter and tighter. All three parties are within just a few points. And, of course, some of the most prominent candidates are stepping away from the campaign right now, so it doesn't look to be mirroring the rest of Latin America right now with that move to the left, things should get interesting as we move closer and closer to the election in October, Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.